What's up, bros, and welcome. Now, today I'm gonna be showing some custom Iron Man suits that I've made, so let's get down to business. Now, for the first custom in today's video, we have an upgraded post apocalyptic Iron Man. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from the Iron Man Mark 1. The torso we're going to be using is from, I think, the Iron Man Mark 53, except we also have a dark red arm and a brown hand. Then for the left, we're going to take this dark silver arm with this crab claw hand. Then, we're going to take this side spiky armor piece and attach it to the torso. We're going to take this brown K piece, which is from a Mandalorian from the second Mandalorian battle pack, and attach it to the torso. Then, we're going to take this Iron Man Silver Centurion head and pop that onto the torso. And then for the last piece, we're going to take this Hero Factory helmet piece from Hero Factory, of course. Pop that onto the head and... Then we have my second post-apocalyptic Iron Man costume. Now, this costume minifigure is an upgraded version of a post-apocalyptic Iron Man costume minifigure that I made for an old post-apocalyptic Avengers costumes video. Now, the differences between that costume and this one is this one looks more like a what if Tony Stark was living in a post-apocalyptic universe and his Iron Man suit was badly damaged and he had to basically improvise to survive. So basically now Tony Stark has a new Iron Man helmet that doesn't have an open up visor or anything, it's just like a biker's helmet, it's just something built for protection. And then his suit's also rusted and the paint's coming off and his nanotech Iron Man gauntlet hand blast thingy is locked in place so he can't turn it back into like a normal hand so that's why on this side I added this crab hand to represent how it's the nanotech blast thing and he also has a cape and he also has this pauldron on the side but um yeah that's basically it for this custom now for the second custom in today's video we have the Iron Man police officer suit now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Ultra Agents. The torso we're going to be using is from a Robo Officer from the Lego movie, except we also have some dark blue arms and some dark red hands. Then we're just going to take a random Transclear redhead. You can honestly use any head if you want to make this custom yourself. And then we're going to take this Iron Patriot helmet piece and also this Iron Man Mark 50 visor piece and then we have the completed Iron Officer custom. Now I don't really have a name for this custom, it's basically just, you know, an Iron Officer or Iron Cop. The backstory for this custom is basically what if Tony Stark wanted to create mass-produced Iron Man suits for police officers. Now, basically, it's just an Iron Man suit for the police, so there aren't really a lot of weapons. You still have the arc reactor or, like, the arc blast. You don't have an arc reactor, and these suits can't really fly. They're just built to, like, protect officers from gunfire. But, um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. Now for the third costume in today's video... We have the Iron Adaptor. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from the Spider Man Homecoming Iron Man armor. The torso we're going to be using is from a Cyber Man or whatever those robot guys from Doctor Who are called. And we also have some light silver arms and some dark red hands attached. Then, we're going to take this Iron Man Tony Stark headpiece and attach it to the torso and then for the last piece we're gonna take this super adaptoid helmet piece and attach it to the torso and then we have the completed iron adaptoid custom now the backstory for this custom minifigure is 
what if Tony Stark took Justin Hammer's super adaptoid design and upgraded it or more specifically combined it with his Iron Man armor technology to create the Iron Adaptoid. It's basically an Iron Man suit that can copy the abilities of whoever he comes in contact with, like for instance the rest of the Avengers and stuff like that. It's basically just a combination of Iron Man and the Super Adaptoid, but for his accessories we have this Mjolnir display piece where it looks like he's swinging the armor around. It's a very simple build, but yeah, that's basically it for this costume. Oh, and for some reason this thing is a pretty cool spinning top as you can see here, which is pretty weird, but it's a fun little extra feature, I guess. Now for the fourth costume in today's video, we have the Imperium suit. Now, the legs of this costume are from Raptin from Ninjago Dragons Rising. The torso is also from Raptin, and we also have some black arms and some golden hands. Then, we're gonna take this golden armor piece, which is from one of the Hydra Whippers from Ninjago Seabound, pop that onto the torso. Then, we're gonna take this transclear headpiece, and then we're gonna take the Iron Man Bones Armor Helmet piece. Pop that onto the rest of the minifigure, and then we have the completed Iron Man Imperium suit. Now the backstory for this costume is basically, when I got my hands on a LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising Raptor minifigure, I thought the minifigure does kind of look like an Iron Man suit, I mean it has this orange glowing round circle on the chest, which does kind of look like an arc reactor, so I thought hey, what if I used this piece or this minifigure to create a custom Iron Man suit because it does kind of look like the Iron Man Bones armor so this suit is basically a combination of the Imperium Battle Armor from Ninjago and the Iron Man Bones armor so yeah I just thought it would look like a cool combination but yeah that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fifth and last custom in today's video, we have the Arkless suit. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a random Ultra Agents villain from Ultra Agents of course. Then we're gonna take this Sith Trooper torso piece from Star Wars The Old Republic, except the torso is reversed. We also have these dual molded arms which are from a Sylvie minifigure from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 1, and we also have some dark red hands. Then we're going to take this transclear headpiece and attach it to the torso, and then we're going to take this random Iron Man helmet piece and pop it onto the torso, and then we have the completed Arkless Iron Man suit. Now the idea for this custom Iron Man minifigure is basically what if Tony Stark created an Iron Man suit that didn't have an arc reactor? Because the arc reactor is such an easy target for enemies since it's right on his chest, if they hit that spot, the Iron Man suit just shuts off or gets severely damaged without the arc reactor powering it. So for this Iron Man suit, the arc reactors are separated into tiny green small arc reactors on the sides of the arms right here. And they don't shoot out beams, they just power the suit. This suit isn't really built for battle, it's a suit that Tony Stark uses to fly around really fast in. This suit flies faster than most of his other suits because they aren't built for like shooting lasers and fighting people. It's just built to be a quick escape of a suit or something like that. That's basically what my thoughts are behind this concept. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope you bros enjoyed. Tell me in the comments below if you want to see me make more custom Iron Man suits. But um, yeah, feel free to check out my other videos and we'll see me make custom minifigures. Have a great day. See ya bros.